Hey guys, I'm Dan. Welcome to a brand new video. And today I am super excited to be showing you the entire collection of Coloretta dinosaur toys from Japan. I'm super excited, so let's get started. So in this set, there are actually three different volumes, and let's start off with the first one. So the first one right over here is super cool. It's from the Cretaceous period, volume one. So let's unbox this right now. Cut this open up. It's brand new. I'm super excited. I haven't seen this before. So each box actually comes with this super cool container. So let us just open this up right now. Wow, it comes with a practical guide of dinosaurs, volume one. From the Cretaceous period. I am super super excited as you guys can see this set comes with this little sticks for you to hold them together. Wow really really cool so let's take our first one let's try this one over here okay I'm gonna cut this right open really excited so the first one over here we have a looks like a pachyrhinosaurus let us take a look this is a protoceratops very cool first horn face discovered in China Mongolia so let us open this up right now and fix it to the base and this will create a very nice model very awesome man okay so basically we can just fix this oh this do not need the stake so we can just basically fit it into the base like this very cool so the first one over here is a protoceratops very awesome Put him right over here and let's move on to our next one over here and this guy looks like a velociraptor but let us just have a look just in case so what dinosaur is this so basically you have to fit the stick into the body and where is the hole for this for us to stick it, looks like it's right in the middle. Yep, right in the middle, and you can just fit him into this base. Looks really, really awesome. And let's check out what dinosaur this is. This is a Velociraptor, very cool. Swift teeth, or rather, the Swift Caesar found in Mongolia, China, late, late Cretaceous period. Super awesome. Gonna place him right over here and let's move on to our next dinosaur. Let's grab one from wow, this T-Rex looks amazing. So let me just cut this right open. If you are using a pair of scissors at home, please be really careful, okay? So we have a huge T-Rex over here, I'm super excited. So let me just fix this right into it. Okay, cool. Wow, this looks really awesome. The Tyrannosaurus Rex, Tyrant Lizard King. So let's have a look at some facts of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus, Tyrant Lizard found in America, Canada, late Cretaceous period, diet herbivorous dinosaurs. Very awesome. Cool, this is looking really, really awesome. And let's move on to our next dino. So basically, we have about 22 different dinosaurs in this entire set. I am really excited. So what do we have here? We have a Triceratops. And let me fix this one in. Okay, how do we do this? Cool, this is really nice. I love the awesome details and the awesome paintwork. 
Triceratops, the three horn face, and let's have a look at some of the facts of a Triceratops, shall we? Where is Mr. Triceratops? Three horn face found in America, Canada, late Cretaceous period. And let me place a Velociraptor right up. Very nice. And let's move on to our next dino inside. Wow! This comes in this plastic protection cover. Looks really awesome. And this looks like a pteranodon. Really, really nice. As you guys can see, the awesome paintwork and the awesome details. I love this paint on the eye and this color combination. Looks really fantastic. Comes with this rock base. Looks very nice as well. You can see some really nice small details on the rock. Looks really awesome. Pteranodon, I suppose. So, but let us have a look just in case. Pteranodon. Toothless wing. America. Late Cretaceous period diet fish. Really, really, really nice. I'm loving this awesome figures and let's have a look at the next one over here and this one looks like a um is this a dimorphodon i'm not too sure or is this a sunga ripteris so this comes with this rock looks really nice i'm going to have to cut another piece of this plastic rod to make it stand cool so basically you can fit this right into the body and then the other end right into the rock. Super super cool. So what prehistoric animal is this? You can actually shorten this rod by cutting it. Cool. And place it right into this little rock. Looks really really awesome. And this dinosaur are from a brand called Colorata. Okay, it's a brand from Japan, really really nice. And this is a Sunga Ripteris. A pterosaur wing of Sungers. Which is the name of the site of discovery in China. Early Middle Cretaceous period. Really awesome. Let's have a look at this once again. Brilliant. Okay, and let's move on to our last dinosaurs of volume. One. Wow, what is this? Okay, let me just have a proper look. Looks like that is not a um, Swinger Ripterus. Oh, yes, it is. The other one is actually a um, Quetzalcoatlus. Is that a Quetzalcoatlus? Yes, that's right. This is a Quetzalcoatlus. So let us have a look at this. Wow, you have to fit this all by yourself. That's pretty cool. So let us fit the wings right in like this. Oh, they fit really easily. This is really awesome. This is actually the first time I'm looking at this. So they look really, really fantastic. This wing is a little bit loose. Okay, they fit perfectly actually. And this is a Quetzal Quadlers. And let me just cut one of this steak and have it placed right into the base. I'm super excited. I love this set a lot. They look fantastic. So you can actually place this figure onto this rock. You can actually shorten the rod if you like it, like this. Cool. And put it right back into this rock looks really really awesome I love the awesome paint work on the head nice mixture of yellow and red paint looks really fantastic so this is our very first volume take a look at this so there are actually like sea animals and different animals super super cool oh looks like we have another galley miners oh it's right over here I beg your pardon so let me just cut this right open and we shall have the complete set of volume 1 right over here. Galley Mimers. 
really nice. Comes with a base as well. Yeah, looks like we have to cut another rod. Okay. Very cool. I can't wait to open volume 2. Okay, um, if you guys managed to watch the video until now, I've actually a side announcement, I mean a channel announcement to let you guys know because um, I'm actually going to do some changes to the site, better content for you guys. So basically, okay, maybe I should just let you guys know right now. So basically from Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I will be doing dinosaur videos and Monday and Wednesday you can expect some animal videos so this is to give you guys a good variety of videos so over here we have a galley miners so let's take a look at some facts of this wonderful dinosaur okay galley miners is known as the foul mimic found in Mongolia in the late Cretaceous period really awesome it's an omnivorous dinosaur which means it eat both um, plants and like, small little animals very cool so take a look at this awesome details and awesome paint work on this dino very nice these are actually like mini figures but not that mini okay so this is the entire volume one so let's take a look at volume two okay So let's unbox volume 2 right now as you guys can see these figures they look really awesome so let me just cut this right open cool this container is actually super cool wow this one is like stuck right over here <laughs> it's really tight and um, yeah, this is the volume 2, so let's have a look at what's inside, I'm super excited. Let's move like this. Volume 2. We have the sticks right over here, and what is this dinosaur? Looks like a Futabasaurus. But let us just open this up and have a look at what's inside, okay? This definitely looks like a Futabasaurus. Oh, they all have names at the bottom, so that is really cool. Coloretta, Futabasaurus. So basically, we can just stick this right into the body and to the base. So this diorama is actually very awesome. As you guys can see, this is like the sea bed with some nice rocks. This Futabasaurus looks very nice. It's bluish in color with some nice black spots on all four flippers. Some nice stripes on the body. So let us have a look at some facts of this prehistoric animal. Volume 2, number 1. So what do we have for number 1? It's actually a Spinosaurus. Futabasaurus, very cool. Lizard discovered in the Futaba stratum by Mr. Suzuki. Japan late Cretaceous period really awesome it's a plesiosaur and let's have a look at our second one which is right over here and what dinosaur is this looks like a Deinonychus let's just cut this right open if you are using a pair of scissors at home please be really careful have a parent to supervise you okay so what do we have here I think this is a Deinonychus, I'm not too sure, but let's have a look, shall we? So basically, you can just fit this over here like this. But you need a little support for this. So just place a stick right into the rock. So basically, you have to trim each rod you know, accordingly to the height of um, this diorama. Okay, this fits perfectly. So let us check just in case what dinosaur this is. Volume 2. Yes, it's a Deinonychus. 
terrible claw found in North America in the early Cretaceous period. What a fantastic piece. This is actually one of my favorite in this set so far. My favorite has to be the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It looks really, really wonderful. The Futabasaurus is excellent as well, and this one is really cool. The awesome paintwork over here. You can actually feel the texture of the skin. It looks very cool. Even the teeth is like nicely painted. Nice glossy paint on the eye. Nice elegant tail. And this diorama is actually super cool. You can see some rocks with some moss growing on it. Very cool. So let's go on to the next dinosaur. And it looks like we have a Carnotaurus over here. Carnotaurus. You just fit this into the base. Oh, having some problems trying to fit this guy. Okay, I think we might need a rod or something. I'm not too sure. Okay, we are done. Finally, okay, so this is a Carnotaurus. The legs looks very slender. <laughs> I'm not too sure why they make them so slender. So, so let's have a look at this. Carnotaurus. I think so. Yeah, it's a Carnotaurus. But too slender for my liking. Argentina, Middle Cretaceous period, a meat eating bowl. We know all this. Yeah. And um, yes, this guy is having some problems standing on his base, so you might need this uh, rod to hold it tight to um, the rock. I mean, the rod to hold on the body to the rock. <laughs> okay, the next one. Wow, this one looks really, really awesome. And this is, I guess, this is the Mosasaurus, or is it a Tylosaurus? Very nice, this is excellent. Really, really excellent. So we have a Mosasaurus right over here. Wow, this is actually a super, super cool Mosasaurus. Really wonderful. So let's have a look at some facts of this Mosasaurus, prehistoric marine reptile. Okay, Mosasaurus. The Muse Lizard, North America, Europe, Japan, late Cretaceous period. Very awesome. This is really cool. I don't want to spend too much time to cut the rod, so I'm just going to place him right over here next to the um, Futabosaurus. Wow, oh my goodness, they look really fantastic. Really awesome stuff. And it comes with this little sea creature. I have no idea what this is. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments. Basically, you can just fit this right into the mouth like this. <laughs> looks brilliant. Next one over here looks like a Styracosaurus. I'm pretty sure this is a Styracosaurus. Okay, so... I really love how each dinosaur actually comes with a base. So if you put them on a display shelf, they will look really excellent. Okay, so we have a Triceratops, um, I mean, it's Tyrakosaurus over here, I beg your pardon. Very cool, I love the frill. Has some nice pinkish tone of colors, it looks very brilliant. Nice moss, nice paint work, really nice. Really awesome stuff from Coloretta, I'm very impressed. So let's have a look at, um, the Styracosaurus information, spiked lizard, mid Cretaceous period, yes we know all this, very very cool. I love this little booklet, booklet that comes with this fax, oh my goodness, this is really awesome. Spinosaurus, oh my goodness, this is really fantastic. Let's rip this open and have a look, wow, I am really really impressed. 
fantastic stuff. So it comes with a base of this Spinosaurus looks brilliant. Wow, this looks amazing and if you place it together next to the Tyrannosaurus Rex, they look like they are having a battle. Wonderful, this is really, really, really wonderful. I love this set. I am so glad that I actually got this set. They look brilliant. The spine lizard, take a look at the sail over here. Some nice spines and nice color paint job on this. Nice details. Very awesome. Nice paint work on this dinosaur figure. Comes with this nice diorama. As you guys can see, this is part land and part sea. Very cool. This is really, really cool. Awesome stuff. Okay, we are left with one last um, dinosaur in this volume volume 2 looks like we have a hadrosaur and let's check out what dinosaur this is this is the Meyer Sora. it's a duck built dinosaur a hadrosauric dinosaur so basically we have to fit this into the diorama um, obviously but where how can we place this I'm trying to figure how do we do this? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is really tight. Okay, there are actually three different holes for you to insert the legs in. Okay, so we have a Maya Saurus. Maya Saurus. Uh, my ear, sorry. Okay, back your pardon. Very nice. So let's take a look at some facts of this dinosaur. Shall we? My ear, sorry. So, uh, comparison to human, good mother lizard. So basically, I've my ear, sorry, was a dark built dinosaur species with a duck like beak. It is believed that the adults raise their young until maturity because fossils of many eggs and young dinosaurs have been discovered together with nests of modern earth. They lived in large groups that migrated and built nests together. So this is a good mother lizard. This is actually um, the first time I'm hearing of this dinosaur, so beg your pardon if I pronounce the name wrongly, but this looks wonderful as usual. So what do you guys think of this set? I think they look brilliant they look amazing i'm really excited so let's open up the last box okay guys so now we are at the last box of this brilliant colorator dinosaur series or rather dinosaurs and prehistoric animals so basically this set volume 3 is actually an old set which I have already purchased some time ago. I'm really excited. So let's take a look at this again. So the first one over here is a Brachiosaurus. Very, very nice. Except for this paint work on the mouth, which looks a little bit sloppy. Awesome stuff, as you guys can see, the arm lizard. So let's take a look at this practical guide of dinosaurs. So the first one we have is a Brachiosaurus. So let us find the Brachiosaurus. Arm lizard, North America, late Cretaceous period. Very nice. I mean, uh, check this out again. Late Jurassic, early Cretaceous. Beg your pardon. So basically, yes. Each dinosaur comes with a base of its own once again, and this one looks brilliant as usual. And inside this, I have another Futabasaurus which is not in volume 3 so I have an additional one so what is this? is this an Allosaurus or Young Trinosaurus? let's take a look Young Trinosaurus and this dinosaur was discovered in China I'm not too sure where is the base for this dinosaur so let's take a look at um, the information about this dinosaur Lizard of Young Chuan Location of discovery, China, period of existence, late Jurassic. Very cool. And let's take a look at the next one. So basically, we have to place the base right into it, but I can't find it. 
So this is the next um, dinosaur, looks like a Dilophosaurus near Crested Lizard. So let's take a look at some information about this dinosaur, shall we? Dilophosaurus Double Crested Lizard Okay, North America, China, Early Jurassic okay, the Details on this dinosaur is amazing As you guys can see, you can see some nice creases Muscle definition And really awesome paintwork on the body as well as the eye I love this Looks brilliant so let's just take a all. Oh, oh, this is a dinosaur which is already fixed to the base. It looks like we have a Stegosaurus. Very nice. Roof lizard comes with this grassy base. And I love all these little spots on the body. Awesome plates as you guys can see. Very nice color combination of like red and uh, brown. Very, very cool. So we have a Stegosaurus, our first Stegosaurus of this video. And what is this dinosaur? Looks like a Microraptor. I'm not too sure. Let's take a look. Archaeopteryx. Very nice. Okay. This is a mini figure. And where is the base for this guy? Looks like this is um. This should be the base for um the Allosaurus. I'm not too sure. We shall have a look at that later on. Wow, and what do we have over here? Looks like an Allosaurus. Let's take a look. Allosaurus, yes, that's right. And let's see what information we have for this dinosaur. Allosaurus. So basically, this is the base for the Allosaurus. Strange lizard, herbivorous dinosaurs. Oh, the diet. That's right, North America, late Jurassic period. So basically, you can um, fit this into um, the diorama. But I think you still need um, a rod to hold this dinosaur tightly to the base. Looks really awesome. Really impressive star from Colorado. I'm very, very impressed. And let's see what else we have. Okay, this is... um. Another base, I'm not sure, too sure for which dinosaur. And what do we have over here? Looks like a is either a Tujangosaurus or a Cantrosaurus. Yes, it's a Tujangosaurus, lizard of Tujango. Location of discovery in China, late Jurassic. Very nice. Family Stegosauridae. Awesome stuff. Where is the base for this little dino? Looks like this is the one. Just fit it right in. This is not as detailed as the rest, but still looks brilliant. The nice color combination looks fantastic. It's bright and colorful. Love it. And let's move on to our next dino. I think we are left with no more dinos. <laughs> So basically, we can just fit um, this Allosaurus into the base. Cool. Like this. We just fit it right into the body. Cool. How cool is this Allosaurus? So yes, these are all the Colorado dinosaurs. Which one is my favorite? That is very, very simple. I'm gonna choose a few. First one, okay, in no particular order, Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is definitely one of my favorite in this video. Really awesome. Next, the Spinosaurus. I think this is my favorite in this entire set. It looks wonderful. The posture, although um, the Spinosaurus is actually quadrupedal which means it walk on four legs instead of like two but of course it can also walk on two legs and the next one definitely has to be the mosasaurus looks really fantastic i really love the awesome details on this dinosaur yep 
The Conotaurus, okay, this one, the Nonicurus looks brilliant. The details and the paint to it looks really awesome. And the posture looks fantastic, as you guys can see. Can't fault this at all. This is definitely one of the best, if not the best, um, model in the set. The Gelling Mimers looks fantastic as well. <laughs> looks brilliant. And the Futabasaurus, wow. Basically, every one of every single one of them looks very nice, except for the Brachiosaurus. The paint look on this Brachiosaurus it's um it's, it's pretty bad, as you guys can see. The stroke over the mouth looks terrible, to be honest, to be very honest. But the entire set looks wonderful, looks brilliant. I feel we can just remove this black line over here. That will look fantastic. Young Trondosaurus looks a little bit weird for my liking. And the, basically the rest are just brilliant. Just brilliant. I can't fuck them at all. So basically we can just fit this into the base, the Archaeopteryx. Okay. Oh, this is actually for the Fodabarsaurus. So we can't fit this here. Where is the base for these Archaeopteryx? Just gonna use this, maybe use this. In the Dilophosaurus, we can just place it right over here. Fits perfectly. Okay, take a look at all these figures. They look wonderful, really, really, really wonderful. Yes, so these are all the different dinosaurs from this entire Colorata set. I hope that you guys enjoy this. And if you guys want to like find out more information about Colorata, you can just go on to their website. Okay, this is not a um, sponsored video. I basically purchased this myself. So if you, you guys can just go on to the online shop at colorata.com. Colorata.co.jp. Awesome stuff. So guys, these are all the dinosaurs. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, you know, share it, leave me a comment. You guys know I read every single one of them. And if you are not a subscriber yet, please hit the subscribe button down below and press the bell icon to receive notifications whenever I upload a video. Thanks for amazing support. You know, there will be another upload tomorrow. So please be here to watch the next video, okay? I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video, but before you go, please check out these four other videos that I have recommended for you guys. I'm pretty sure that you will like it. And just to let you guys know that I will be uploading dinosaur videos every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday. From Monday and Wednesday, from Monday and Wednesday there will be animal videos. So basically, yes, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Tuesday are dinosaur videos. Check out the channel art on the front page. You guys can see the schedule right over there. Okay, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Goodbye.